one of the worst things right now would be an internet lag because of what's coming. The story's from a bag! <laughs> I can spit rhymes! Now let's see if we can go in and find us a story. Oh yeah, these are so much fun! So people know that if you join the military, you get the opportunity to travel a little bit and go to Europe and Asia and all these other different places, and you can take your family. Now, here's the thing. We are still a military installation, and we have to answer the question, what happens if you get attacked? Now, the bare bones, God honest truth answer is that we have to practice getting all the non-combatants off of an installation now. And if you're not mentally prepared for it, it can be a chaotic and stressful time, especially if you have children. I've seen them done so many different ways. Like in some places, like only the military plays, you know, this guy goes over here, that'll go over there, pawn to king four, and like, that's it. But one of the best ones that I've seen, they allow the families to take part in it and also the children, and it becomes a very fun time especially talking about a stressful situation. So the adults are getting all the briefings that they're supposed to, you know, getting their things in order and stuff like that in order to leave a military installation. But we also took that as an opportunity for other organizations on base they may not know about that they can use, like the chaplain or MWR or ANFRC, stuff like that. They would all come out and give the adults briefings. The kids, however, they're getting like, you know, plastic helmets and toy guns and they're getting their face painted and camouflage and I look like that. Oh, it's so much fun. I think this was everybody's favorite part about this one particular base and how they did it. They had a C-17 Globemaster III on the flight line that families could board. And they took off and flew as if they were leaving the base. If I'm a military kid and all I've flown maybe is like Korean Air or Lufthansa and then I board a military aircraft and fly, I'm gonna talk about that for 44 years. My joy was just hearing everybody coming back from the flight going, oh, that was so awesome, it was so incredible. So yeah, we all got coins for all the work that we put in. By the way, what I'm talking about is called a NEO. I know it's backwards, but it's the Non-Combatant Evacuation Operations. And the base that I was at was Osan Air Base. Being in a military family is different than being in a civilian family, but you have unique experiences that you can talk about forever. If you're part of a military family, let me know your story or make a video, tag me. I would love to hear your story. Have peace and love.